Averaging more than 60 million players each month, League of Legends is the most played computer game in the world. Thankfully, it's also a game that doesn't need extreme amounts of computing power to run. But how powerful of a PC do you need to play League at a fast frame rate and high resolution? Beyond that, what kind of PC would you need to play League on triple monitors or at 4K resolution? This guide will take an in-depth look at the computer hardware necessary to play League on everything from minimum settings up to crazier multi-monitor setups or extremely high resolutions. First, a note about the game's overall performance. The CPU is definitely not the bottleneck in League, and in truth, a 2GHz single-core CPU should be able to run the game moderately well. In our build recommendations, we'll be suggesting progressively more powerful CPUs, but we do that because a computer's components should be balanced, and not necessarily because League needs a high-end CPU to run at higher settings. Your graphics card, however, plays a much bigger role in determining how well League runs on your PC. Even when it comes to graphics cards, you don't need much to get by on lower settings, but you will need a good mid-tier card to really get the most out of the game at 4K resolution or with multiple monitors. First, let's take a look at the minimum requirements according to the developer. You could scrape by with a 2GHz CPU, and they don't specify a graphics card as long as it supports DirectX 9, which any relatively modern card will do. The truth is that even an integrated graphics system can probably run the game on low settings and with a low resolution. You'll also need 1GB of RAM, but you do have 1GB of RAM, right? Alright, but these guidelines from the developer don't really give us many specifics to work with, so we'd like to make some tangible hardware recommendations for running the game on minimum settings. Here's a configuration Logical Increments would recommend. AMD's A4 5300 is a pretty basic dual core that should easily get the job done at a low price. If you wanted to save even a few more bucks, you could make a Sempron 2650 work as well. For the GPU, the NVIDIA GT210 is just about the cheapest and lowest end dedicated graphics card you can get. But like we said, you could probably squeak by with a modern integrated graphics system. And again, you should probably be able to find 1GB of RAM under a couch cushion. With these specs, you could build a PC to run League of Legends on minimum settings for around $225. For examples of how that would look, see the destitute or poor tiers at logicalincrements.com. But what if you'd like to run the game on medium settings and at a decent resolution? Well, here's what we'd recommend. Like we've said, the CPU isn't going to be a bottleneck with League, and so the AMD chips from the previous build could work here. But to keep the specs balanced, we're recommending the Intel G3220, a nice budget price dual core. We're also recommending a more powerful low-tier graphics card, the Radeon R7 240, and we'd suggest upgrading to at least 2GB of RAM. A PC intended to play League on medium settings with these specs could likely be built for around $350. The minimum tier at Logical Increments is a good example of how this build would look. But okay, let's move on to max settings at 1080p. Since League is such a competitive game, most players want to run it at its full potential, and for that the most important component is a decent mid-tier graphics card. Let's look at the recommendations. To be frank, this setup is a little overkill for running League on the max settings at 1080p, but as a bonus it's powerful enough to run more demanding games pretty well, and still at a very reasonable price. We normally shoot for getting 60 frames a second on max settings, but this setup could probably get you more like 80 or 90 frames a second in League, assuming your monitor's refresh rates allow for it. For the CPU, we're recommending AMD's Quad-Core X4 750K, which has more than enough power to run League. For the GPU, we'd recommend the GTX 650 from NVIDIA or the R7250X from AMD. We'd also recommend upgrading to 4GB of RAM to keep the system balanced, even if that much RAM isn't really necessary to play League. With specs like these, you should be able to build a system to run League on the fullest settings at 1080p for around $475. See the entry or modest tiers at Logical Increments for examples of how that build would look. And finally, what if we want to plan for a more extreme setup like triple monitors at 1080p or 4K resolution at 60 frames a second? We really just need a slight upgrade from our previous build recommendation. For the CPU, we're making a minor upgrade to the X4 760K. For graphics cards, we recommend a jump up to the GTX 750Ti or the R7 265, both great mid-tier cards for the price range. You can keep the 4GB of RAM because RAM isn't really going to be a bottleneck here. Excluding the cost of the monitors, you should be able to build a PC to run League on extreme setups following these specs for around $550. You can see everything you'd need for a build like this in the good tier at Logical Increments. And that's it! If you're looking to get into League of Legends, or if you already play but want to upgrade your system, you've hopefully got a little more info on your side. For more info on building the best PC for your budget, check out our detailed PC builds at LogicalIncrements.com. While you're there, you can mouse over the tier names to see our star ratings for some popular PC games, including League of Legends. 
Five stars means this build can max the game out at 4K or with multiple monitors. Three stars means it can max it out at 1080p. And if you want even more info on League of Legends performance benchmarks, check the links to Tom's hardware and tech spot that we've left in the video description below.